Okay, looks like we currently have, let me see here, about uh, 70, or I'm sorry, I read that wrong, I read it backwards, 67 viewers, I was going to say 76, being a little optimistic here. We got a few supers already coming in, let me read these and then we can go ahead and start. We had one coming in from Vicky Martini for $2 saying, no more GTA Vice City, soon, very soon. I think I might have an idea of what was causing the, the, the hang on the last uh, attempt at a run, so if I'm right, I'll try to fix it soon. A uh, feral raccoon sent in 4 dollars saying, Hey, Rogan Goat. Unfortunately, this is a goatless stream. Uh, I'm traveling home for the weekend. Do you think Nell will do the same? I'm hoping, but I have this weird sneaking suspicion like she's going to stick around a little longer than she should. Vicky Martini sent in $2 saying, Would you play the uh, kindly play the intro? Boy, I, I can do that for you. And then we got one coming in from Ghostface for $5 saying, Did you see that Smoking Kiwi had the Predator Jupiter on their show last night? They tricked him and put him on blast like they did to Earl Doobie. No, I didn't. Um, uh, good for them. I I'll never understand wanting to go and interact with these really peculiar eccentric types. It's just, it's a little too dangerous for my taste, but all the power to them. I just, I've gotten burned doing it. It's not worth it. What else we got? It says, I better not stream GTA. Boy, well, you're a, a little late for that. We're going to start here in just a moment. And I see uh, Purple Peaks talking about Larson's bail getting reduced. We will be covering that tomorrow on Rogue After Dark. And before I forget, in case you guys didn't know, there is a video coming out tonight covering all, all there is to know about Daniel Larson's health and hygiene, or rather his lack thereof. But they said there's audio clicking. Are you talking, what audio clicking are you talking about? Are you hearing this? Is that what you're talking about? That little noise? That was me fucking with a, with a, like a, almost said lighter. It's a pin. I hope that's not what you're hearing. I hope there's no audio clicking. That would be very, very bad. Uh, they said, uh, did you hear about Too Mad? Yeah, I already died playing Overwatch. What a way to go. But we need to go ahead and start. Give me a second here. I'm going to, first I need to play the intro for, uh, for Vicky. There you go. I hope you're fucking happy. You better be satisfied with these results. If not, I don't know what to fucking tell you. And there we go. Let me switch to the TV screen. 
Uh, let me adjust the audio just a bit here. Hopefully the balancing will be good to go. I may have to tweak it once we get properly in game. I'm going to start the game here and we will go ahead and get going, guys. They said cross out after dark. Is it, is it not covered? Oh, I see what you mean for the intro. That's what I should do. And we got one more coming in from Melisauce for 100 Smack Roos saying, Gamer, Gamer, Game Time, brother. You're right. That's probably the most profound thing I've ever seen in my chat, ever. So, display is on. Let's, uh, let's start this shit. Ah, yeah. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys, this is honestly one of my least favorite entries in the franchise, but I, I can't deny that it is of very high quality. It is very fun. It's just not my cup of tea in most ways. Uh, just the message in $2 saying, when you die, your tombstone better say rip ass. Okay, we'll see if we, if we can make that happen, we will. We will do what we can. We will endeavor to put a rip ass on my headstone. Jojo wants me to say the gamer word. We're going to be hearing a lot of that in this game. Just not from me. After five years on the East Coast, it was time to go home. Welcome to Los Santos Airport. What's up? Call the sweet. What's up, sweet? What you want? This mama. Is it a little too quiet? A little too loud? I can adjust it once we get to the gameplay. It's quiet. I'll see if I can tweak it after this. Passenger, show us your hand. Stop. Unfortunately, this is one of those games where you can't really pause it while it's in cutscenes. I could probably minimize it, but it'll probably hang on me. Oh yeah, I see what you mean, how quiet it is. Let me, let me gamble. Can I do it like this? <laughs> uh, yeah, it just skipped through the whole cutscene. I mean, I don't, I don't particularly care. I'm not going to watch that whole fucking intro again. So, let me, uh... Let me check the audio here. I gotta listen on my end. I think we might be good now. We have one coming in from... Where to go? Dr. Negus B. Wilder for $5. Saying, I still don't know who Two Mad is, but he played Overwatch 2, so he deserved it. You, you know what? You get a heart for that. That's what you fucking get for playing Overwatch 2. Lifeless fucking slop. I was looking at my phone. And then we got one more coming in from Mr. Waifu Taker for $5 Canadian saying, Radio X is my favorite radio station in GTA SA. Nothing like listening to them bones while flooring my bike across San Andreas, especially the NRG 500. Me? Man, I'm personally, I'm more of a fan of K-Dust or K-Rose, but I think I'm looking for a much different game here. Purple Peak said he died while uh, playing Overwatch 2. Didn't he, like, overdose or something? I saw where there was a clip. I don't know if it was his mo his last stream, but uh, there was something about Too Mad saying that he's always on ketamine. Did he overdose on ketamine or something? Mysterious Senor Hitler sent in $5 and Helldiver 2 stream win rogue. I've been having a lot of fun with it, but uh, the worst enemy isn't bots or bugs, but rather the servers. I have not had a chance to play it. I've seen a lot of gameplay. And it looks like it's probably a good time. Grove Street. Zane oh, sent in two dollars saying, "San Andreas isn't in your favorite up. castration sequence." Go! No, you you can't castrate me. I'm just I like slower burn games, and there's nothing wrong with this game. Really, there's it's a fine game. I just I really don't fucking like how the the story is just so inconsistent. That drives me fucking crazy. There. Let's see if that's any better. And then I'm going to read one more here, then we'll hop into the house. Mr. Waifu Taker sent in $5 Canadian saying, I don't want to die from an overdose while playing Halo Infinite. Thank God I'm staying far away from drugs and playing Halo MCC instead. Oh, there you go. How, did you see the uh, the new update that came out the other day that fixed the hit, hit registration for Halo 2? Actually makes the multiplayer not a nightmare to play anymore. And Drinko's asking where the goat is at. She is at work. She has a job. I was thinking about playing Saints Row 2 on stream, but it would feel wrong to do that without Asterisk. Stop it! What are you doing? Carl Bryant, stop it! 
Ah, uh, CJ Schizophrenia setting in nicely, Tubes. They're gonna have violent sex. CJ. That bat has been in sweets ass, oh, writer's ass. Oh my dog, what's up? <laughs> Gangsters on a stick. Hey baby, you okay, man? Nah, man. It's my mom's, homie. Hey, I don't know why this had to happen, but I promise you, I'm gonna find out who killed your moms. The streets is cold, dog. Like it says in the book, we are blessed and cursed. I was considering possibly uh, doing a Sims 2 Same stream at some point. Laugh. Thinking we could set make up a new cry. neighborhood, make Cobra. Right I've made now, Cobra in a different neighborhood, but we could make him with chat and let him survive or make a bunch of different cows, put them in an apartment complex together and watch them survive. You want to drive? Yeah, that's cool. Nice car, smoke. Protogen Jazz says, uh, bring, bring Brains in. I don't know if uh, Brains is around right now. And Once in Wonders asking, uh, GTA 4 or Saints Row 2? That's a tough one, man. That's a tough one. They they scratch different itches for me, but if I had to pick one, it would have to be GTA 4. Hey, what's up, y'all? Look who I found hanging around. Carl, hey. Good to see you. Oh, there's Brains. <laughs> he's he's at work too. See people they have to have uh they have to fucking work for their wages, guys. Funeral you ran away from, fool. Just like Brian's. Hey, she was my mama too. Not for the past five years, she wasn't Ah, familial discourse. I feel right at home. Get out my face. I'm going to see Caesar. The hell you are, girl. This is exactly like my family. Black and everything. What the fuck are you? At least I got Prince. Oh, and I guess that makes you an upstanding American. Carl, tell him. Carl, don't tell me shit. As long as he treat her right, disrespect you, and he did. How the hell you gonna say that? Like it's any business of yours. Fuck you, sweet. Oh, shit. Here we go. Hit her. This shit's real fucked up. Everything. What you mean? What, apart from your mother being dead? Things are going real bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you. you're exactly right, St. Nocturne. Tony's buried over there. Little devil over there. It big devil over there. Man, it's just crazy. Everybody One thing I hate about this game, man, first, is the heat haze effect. Ask questions that those, those, like, kind of distorted lines going up. It makes sense to illustrate how hot the environment is, but God, it hurts my eyes. Drive by, incoming. Oh, I need some drinks, said quote, Caesar shoots his sauce on that black uh, crouton. I, oh, okay, fair enough. Then Bog Radio Enthusiast sent in $5 saying my birthday was yesterday. Can you sing happy birthday? You want me to sing happy birthday to you? Things has changed around I'm going to be real with you, man. I, I don't even remember the words of the birthday song. It's, uh... Happy... I haven't been to, like, a birthday party or anything in years, guys. Happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Uh, something, something, so and so. Hold on, I'll get the lyrics, we'll do it right. I feel so wrong for not knowing that. Happy Birthmas song. How do I not know this? God, I'm just pointing out and bringing attention to my poor youth. We're gonna do this. I actually looked up Birthmas, and it, it's showing a bunch of rap versions of it. Would you prefer that? Would that make you feel good? Happy birthday. <laughs> Never mind. I, I'm getting ones that actually have a lot of N-words in them. So, okay. Bog Riddle Enthusiast, I'll, I'll, I'll level with you. Okay? I'm not much of a singer myself. And usually it takes some liquor to get it out of me. So I'll tell you what, how about I take two shots and I do it for you. Does that sound good? And Thought Slayer 4L sent in a uh, rogue lost his job and that's why he's streaming for Yeah, you're actually right. <laughs> Not entirely, no. I just got a lot more free time now. Work is way more lax these days. Oh shit. I almost fucking lost that one. Let me pour a drink here. I'm too far away from sleep. Well, so we can suck my shit. Keep up, CJ.
There we go. Shit! A bonus car is onto us. Split up. Keep up, motherfucker. All right. And Slugboy sent it in chat to us. What is it, Rogue Neat Saga? Well, that's not nice. I don't, I don't want to be a neat. What a scary Just future that would be. CJ. Let me take my drinker. Hey. Ah. Why you Doing that away? one handed was not easy. Straight back into the game, right, dog? So, Bogarito enthusiast, it's time. If I don't keep knocking myself over, I'm doing terrible. Usually I got the strats, but not this time. Was it this bad before you left? Hold on, I got an idea. Mel, come here. I need your assistance. I need your assistance. It was it was somebody's birthday yesterday, and I got to sing them happy birthday. Will you help me? Okay. Okay. Their their name is Bogrito Enthusiast. Bogrito Enthusiast. Yes. Got good, it. Good name, right? That is a good name. Right? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm a big fan of it. So, <laughs> are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Happy birthday Day to you. you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday Bog Enthusiast. <laughs> Happy birthday, happy birthday to, to you. you. Are you happy? Did that make you feel good and warm and fuzzy on the inside? Because I know I feel a lot better. I'm actually a little chubbed. <laughs> God damn it. And I'm too far away from Ryder. I got too excited. And Pascal's Rager sent in 10 memberships. Good shit. What's the matter, fool? You happy birthday, Bogarito enthusiast. Happy birthday. It was good to see you guys again. Hi, chat. Yeah, she's For not, old time's sake. She's not dead yet. Yeah. We take the dog with you. Yeah. He's hitting me with his tail. Ride, nigga. So where you leaving, Carl? I ain't sure. Thought I might stay. Things is fucked up. <laughs> the last thing we need is your help. Ah, oh, man, I won't let you down. I swear. I hope that made you feel special. I had to, to summon her from the basement. I got a whole lot going on. I'm tired. I'll catch y'all later. Hey, yo, just drop in. We all hanging out. Drinko Drivo is asking, when will I propose? I need to have more money. Like, I, I could do it now. I've got the funds. I could get the ring and everything. But I don't feel financially secure enough to really provide in that sense and get everything in order. I want to have a bit more money under my under my uh, belt and all that shit. I just want to make sure I'm secure. All that shit. I want to be able to make sure I'm secure and she's secure. Studio uh, Kelpie said, I actually got San Andreas on my phone thanks to Netflix. It's okay. I've heard, as far as the definitive editions go, that is the best one to get. It has a lot of the new fixes applied to it, but it's still probably not as good as the original. Oh, yeah, I've got an autosave thing here, don't I? Huh. I totally forgot about that. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. <laughs> okay, so I was doing a separate run of San Andreas. I, I started it last year, and I forgot that I use an autosave Clio script, and it actually reserves your, your bottom save as the autosave slot, and I just overwrote it. <laughs> I'll have to fetch that out of my old computer and move it to another slot then. Oh, well. And Opossum said Rogue is gay. Well, that's not nice. That's very mean of you. Well, I guess I don't have to save. I might as well to pass time. Protogen Jazz says, Hey, Rogue, did you know you can actually see CJ's mom's ghost at certain times? That is actually not true. Uh, majority of those old videos were just made with, like, basic SEM edits or Clio scripts. Oh, man, Trust me, the, these games are my autism right here. Hello? Hey, I thought I'd explain some shit. Sweet. Hey, what's up? Since you've been away, shit has changed around here. Grocery families ain't big no more. Seville Boulevard... Yeah, Opossum, that's exactly what the fuck I did. I read that one exclusively out loud. Are you, are you bothered? so busy, and Ballers and Vargos have taken over. So watch yourself out there. AJ Nelson, I missed your super chat. I apologize. Let me scroll back up. I'm so bad at this. Oh, there it is. AJ Nelson sent in $2 saying, Better have the hot copy mod installed. Boy... See, now you're calling me out. So, I know a fair bit of history as far as the hot coffee shit goes, and I've actually got the original version made by Patrick W. all the way back in, like, 2005. I've got a copy of that sitting around somewhere on this machine. And I've also got some plug-in versions where you can put in your own skins. 
Because if you're just depraved enough, you can make CJ fuck whoever you want. That's why I make him have sex with Big Smoke. Hey man, what you want? Seeing my home. What's up with you? Yes, yeah, homie. Yeah, yeah, it's good to see you back. No homie love? No huh? Oh, for sure. For Pascal's sure. Ranger is back. asking. I, I'm sorry, I keep pronouncing it as Ranger, but Rager sent the. Ask what is the hot copy mod? I will explain after this. I'm always damn. Let's go, bitch. <laughs> Let's go, bitch. So, uh, Pascal's Rager, basically the hot copy mod is a modification that was released very shortly after the PC version dropped that re-enables a cut uh, sex minigame. Originally, San Andreas it introduced the dating system, and it's annoying and stupid and doesn't really do much. But one of the features was that you were able to uh, go into your girlfriend's houses and have sex with them in three different positions, and it was like a rhythm game, essentially. And you were supposed to be able to give them not only flowers as gifts, but uh, dildos and use the dildos on them, at least according to the book Jack. I forget who wrote it, but uh, there's a book called Jack that goes over like a lot of history of this franchise. And uh, basically, they realized that this was going to give them an adults-only rating, so it was too late in development to totally cut the assets out. So they just disabled most of the content, but the assets like the animation, sounds, models, textures, all of that was still present. I believe even texturings were. So people found that while data mining the PS2 version, by the time it comes out on PC, roughly about a year later, they release a patch that re-enables it. Rockstar was intending to do the same thing under a patch called, uh, oh, uh, Unleash the Darkness, Unleash something, something like that. It's supposed to be a PC exclusive patch that restored it, but that fell through because the hot coffee mod getting such attention ended up getting them a lot of negative attention, causing it to be pulled from store shelves, etc., etc. So they had to make a modding patch, and the modders who did it were blamed for all kinds of shit. Just a bunch of nonsense. And Neko's asking, do I think 6 will be any good? I see no reason for it not to be. I'm sure there'll be things we like and don't like, but this company doesn't usually fuck up that bad. An opossum saying, so like Sims 4 Wicked Whims, just kind of just a lot more simplistic and it was more uh, contextual based off of the mission you were doing. Hope you stick around longer this time. And Dustin's asking if I remember to turn off the mod that gives Big Smoke a cock that drags across the floor, right? I don't know. I hope I did. Oh, still got it cracking. Man, what's this? Shit look ridiculous. No respect for the hood. And Tyler Weiser says, uh, not back then, but uh, look at the state of Red Dead Online now. Uh, come on, man. Did you really want wet Red Dead Online to do good? <laughs> you should hope that all their online experiences go tits up. GTA Online was a was its own kind of special lightning in a bottle. They might be able to recapture that with 6, but I'm not 100% confident they will. And Thought Slayer's asking if I get the inward pass while playing as CJ. Yeah, actually. That's how it works. I am gonna get that fire extinguisher. That's mine now. Hell yeah. What do you want? Oh, Enjoy, hell yeah. Salad with the Ronies on it. Zachary's thing is 2024 and Rogue is still looking for Bigfoot in San Andreas. I did that as a kid, man. I feel sorry for your dad. I used all kinds of strats trying to find him, and uh, obviously none of them ever worked. Buster, straight Buster. Oh shit! Run! This pizza parlor's no pushover. But no, I used to go out to like the back of beyond area, like will it show or is it hidden? I used to go all the way over here, this big, because the rumor was that Bigfoot was mostly active in here, because conveniently, look at that, there's like the bottom, the ball of the foot, looks like there might be some toes here, it's like a Bigfoot, you know, and people would go out there, and the trick was, well, he never shows up when I'm there, but if I leave CJ there overnight, and he's dead by the time I come and check on my PlayStation in the morning, he died, Bigfoot killed him, not thinking that, you know, the, the character just starved to death. 
I did that thinking Bigfoot killed me, and I probably did it for a week straight. And then I had to come to the conclusion, oh no wait, he's getting hungry. And he starved to death. Ghostbuster fan saying you found the ghost car. I did encounter some of those beat up like cars out in the woods, and since I spawned on an inclined plane, they would fall, and I did think they were ghosts. And uh, Dal, I hope I'm pronouncing your name Dal, Dale. I don't know how to say it. Is saying, uh, is this game where you your protagonist can get fat? Yes, fat and buff. Babsy Kun VA sent in five dollars, saying my only memories with GTA Vice City and San Andreas is renting them at Blockbuster. Always scratched to high heaven, so they constantly crashed. Oh God, man, take me back. I want to be inconvenienced by renting games. Better drop by and see Sweet. He's been yapping on about that graffiti. Yeah, too. Thomas, if uh, Later, homie. if you don't eat frequently enough, CJ will start losing muscle mass and fat, and then eventually die. Um, if you save, it'll uh, refill his hunger meter. There is no actual hunger meter. The game just gives you notification that he's starting to get a little peckish. We need to get guns. Because I don't feel safe being in a neighborhood like this totally un unarmed. Gotta be strapped, boy. Now, there's a pair of brass knuckles underneath the bridge here, but I don't fuck with no brass knuckles. Uh, does a gun spawn up here, or is that after you get a certain amount of packages? Fuck. And I saw somebody in the chat mentioned SAMP. I, I didn't get a chance to see who na whose name it was. And uh, I played a good amount of that, too. <laughs> Spent an ungodly amount of time playing SAMP. I still do. I, it probably it probably pulls me in maybe for about a week, if that, for yeah. once or twice a year. I'm usually in the UIF servers or the... Uh, what is it called now? Um, it's like GTA Online, but it's not. They basically turned San Andreas into an MMO. Well, I got one gun. That should be enough for now, right? Big Mogan says, I think there's a sawn off shotgun on top of the strip club. The pig pen? I will check after this mission. Once it wonders asking, what kind of servers can you find on there? There's a lot of like role play servers, Russian and Brazilian servers that don't speak a lick of English. But there's a. Start with our own set first. I wish I could remember the name, but there's one that's kind of like GTA Online, where you can uh, have ranks to get through. But it's a much more slow burn MMO type. It reminds me more of like World of Warcraft with the the grind, in my opinion. Uh, there's other ones that are like party servers, like United Islands Free Roam, where it's a big free roam server with sub sections where you can do death matches, races, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Just more of a do whatever you want kind of fuck all server. That kind of shit. And then Liquid Snappy sent in 20 memberships. That is awesome. Thank you, brother. Vicky Martini is asking how I got the VC Coronas for the weapons. I am using a handful of mods on this, uh, but it's all just quality of life stuff, and I like to have the Coronas. makes the guns easier to see. Uh, from what I remember, all of the uh, required textures for the Coronas exist in this game, and all you have to do is modify the models themselves to summon the, uh, the effect. But it's been years since I installed that. Watch for those rollers as I tag this up. Yeah, that's who it was, Dustin. Yeah. It was you who brought it up. SAMP is a good time. In the hood. You go get them, and I'll keep the <laughs> and the like, oh, you're using mods, you must be cheating. You're right, I am. I'm so evil. Why didn't I just jump the goddamn wall? Come on, let's cruise in the ballers' territory. Why you hitting people? I think I'm gonna be near the strip club, so I might as well stop by there.
You know, despite the fact that this game is not my favorite and I've spent probably some of the least amount of time playing this, it does feel very natural to come back to it. But really, I I've spent more time playing SAMP than I did like the single player of this game, which to some people is probably sacrilege. Hey, Milkman, you are right. Thank you. Get in, oh. <laughs> Thank you. I did not realize there was one up here. That's good to know. Ghostbuster face is going to go for all the tags. I don't know yet. You know, I've got a strategy guide for this game somewhere. I should dig that out. Somewhere in the bookshelf. up here and I'll go up and do another hood. Neko's asking what happened to CJ's house between San Andreas and Five. Well they're different universes, so CJ did not exist. Sometime in like 2012 there was an interview with some of the guys from Rockstar and they confirmed that the separate universes essentially treat the uh the universe exclusive characters as like non existent. Which I I mean it's kind of up in the air because some characters have carried over. It's whatever they they fancy, but if it's it's if it's an integral character, you can basically assume they no longer the exist. Oh yeah, I forgot we had ragdolls in this. Oh come on! Yeah, we got ragdolls in this. We've got some screen effects. We've got some visuals restored from the PS2 version. Uh, cleaned up text textures, I believe, and it looks like we now have a 12-hour clock. And John Doe says, are we getting the gimp suit in this playthrough? I forget. How the hell do you get that? Is that from collecting a, from certain collectibles? Or is that from a girlfriend? I remember there being a girlfriend that's like really into bondage. Or we could just use the cheat code for it. But then I think prostitutes will just swarm to me. Tyrant King, you're referring to Vice City Stories. I was actually playing a bit of that the other day through an emulator. That's another game I could play on here. Pascal's Rager, the reason why Johnny was in 5 is because uh, the, these games have a dumb universe system to where a different leap in technology signifies a new universe. At least it did. Uh, starting with GTA 4 and onward, you have the HD universe where 4, its episodes, Chinatown Wars 5, online, and 6, I'm assuming, all take place in the same universe. Three, Vice City, San Andreas, and uh, the two stories games and GTA Advance all take place in one universe, and then the top-down games of their own. Hey, get yourself a beer or something. I'll catch up with you. <clears throat> Dr. Negus B. Walden sent in $5 saying, How do you, long do you give... I'm sorry. How long do you think Cobes will keep his buggy mommy dummy? I give them six months tops. Hopefully less time. I'm hoping... That if she does go home this Saturday or Sunday, whatever, hopefully once the liquor is sitting in his tummy, he'll have some time to reflect and he will start saying things that she doesn't like and it'll break apart. But I've got this weird well, sneaking Officer suspicion Hernandez. that Ooh, she is going to stick Officer around for Hernandez. longer. Just, oh, I, I slept. I missed my flight. Oh, oh I've decided I don't want to stay. Want? Oh, they hey, didn't actually give me a return boy. ticket. Something like that. Fuck you know? You just day bitch. Watch your tone, boy. I got a feeling she's going to be in for a long Mr. fucking time, we'll which sucks town. because I that cannot be stand mistake. Jessica. You hear me? We're watching you. Whatever you say. Thank bitch. you, Pascal. I'm glad my my autism knowledge is uh is tickling somebody. Finally, it's got a use. Shade Milkman says you can get the gimp suit while prepping for the casino heist. You need to seduce the girl who has the ID. Okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. The girl that does the spanking, right? That was also another cut thing from High Coffee. Is you were supposed to be able to spank some people. It was like a, a, a not a pressure, but an intensity meter. You know, strength. Bog Rio Enthusiast sent in $5 saying any chance for a Sleeping Dogs playthrough. We could. I actually have, like, two versions of Sleeping Dogs on Steam. But I... I haven't touched them since I bought them back in, like, 2015, I think. I, I got them on sale and just haven't touched them. Last time I really played the game was, like, 2012, I want to say? Was it out then? It was sometime shortly after release. It was before they did the the Halloween spooky whatever DLC. Where the fuck am I going? 
Oh, I'll go this way. And Chicken Farmer said they love to watch me play Watch Dogs. That's another one of my TISM games. I'm pretty fucking particular when it comes Appreciate to the first one. Jade Milk Megan said uh, you could also get drunk and piss in the street with a hot coffee mug. Could you? I never noticed that. I know there's a Cleo script that turns your numpad into a utility to do it. If you hold the two key and then press like seven, eight, or nine, you could puke, piss, or uh, vomit. Or puke and vomit are the same thing, I suppose. You could drink, puke, and piss. Pascal's right. I, I know you can only, you don't have to say the O, but I do it because we have a couple possums that appear in Jed, so. It's how I remember. And there is a tag. Peachy Peach is asking why it's called the Hot Coffee Mod. It's because uh, originally, like, when your girlfriends invite you inside, they're inviting you inside for some coffee. So it's, it's hot coffee. Fuck. Okay, okay, don't shoot me. What you want, fool? Ted Thomas sent in five dollars saying a possum is bitter because she's short. Well, hey, why don't you just grow a little taller, possum? And then we, uh, let's say here, apparently Jessica apparently had a pregnancy test out during the last Cope stream. I saw there was like a, a pink box. I sent that to to Mel and then asked her, I was like, you, you, you creatures have, have badges. You, you guys, this is, this is a pregnancy test, right? And they both said yes. And it mortified me. So. What if Jason Voorhees Saunders is really on the way? And there goes the car. Possum says, uh, I am normal height. Uh, I don't know. Ted said otherwise, so I guess you must be really short. I don't make the rules. I just enforce them. Does this start a challenge? Okay, cool. It, it would have if I had more skill. Eat. I wanted to do a flip, but that was too optimistic. Possum's like, uh, what's normal height? I mean, I don't know. Uh, if you're a, a femoid creature, probably somewhere around five and a half foot. Probably somewhere around five ten. If you're a penis haver. Fuck. Yeah. Hey, you gotta keep it real, man. Man, nobody give a shit about Big me. Smoke was my Why sexual awakening in a totally non-gay way. No crack ever made a gay type. Oh, no, man. What's up, y'all? What's up, CJ? What's crack? Man, all they care about is smoking and money. You can't knock a homie's hustle, sweet. And Mark ain't soldiers. They idiots trying to beat Pedro says, never forget yeah, Idle Ninja. Yeah. The, I was re-listening to the video Flippy put out about the whole Saints Row 2 mod patch and how basically everybody failed Idle Ninja. It's a, it's a real shame, man. Such a genuine guy. Slav Bandit says that penises are sexist. You got that right. Uh, but him and the homeboy Bear, they good to have on our side. Oh, hell oh, yeah. Big, Big bear. bear. Yeah, them bass slangers gonna be sorry now. Hey, Beat Up is only a couple of blocks away. Linky Pup sent in 499 up. saying, So that Bagu's, the swamp slime is festering and naked and laughing? Ugh. Yeah, yeah it's in there and it's forming a little homunculus. Dr. Negus B. Wilden sent in five dollars saying, Rogue, don't panic. But there is a toe-sucking marsupial in chat, and brother, she's hungry. I don't know what to tell you, buddy. What am I supposed to do about it? I haven't... I haven't been an exterminator for a few years. And I don't think I've ever killed a marsupial. But we could... we could solve that, I guess. Nothing that a baseball bat, a few, uh, a few bricks and some duct tape can't fix. CJ, the fuck you want? Get the fuck out of here. Wait, hold up, man. What happened to for life, nigga? The only thing that matters is... He said a bad money, word. But you'll never understand what getting this money is like. You know what, man? Get the Frank fuck money. out of here for you be laying on your back. Big Bear, come check this fool. Hey, Bear? 
Big Bear. That's you? Hey, you still from the hood, homie, nah, or what? the only thing Bear give a fuck about is smoking and keeping my house clean. Ain't that right, Big Bear? <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah what? Hell Loopy yes, is sir. asking if I've ever exterminated Don't rats with a belt. Yeah, oh, man. <laughs> that's that's a hell of a way to do it. Uh, Come on. Everyone wow. Likes to party sometimes, CJ. I see you around. Stay the fuck from around here, punk. Hey, nigga, fuck you. Ah, uh, yes, an argument of the minds. Man. This is fucked up. I see what you mean now, man. What a nice do place. That big bear, turn him into a base slave. The average motherfucker ain't got a chance. Damn dope fiends and drug addicts everywhere in the city. Piss me off. Look like it's up to us then. Let's just cruise through the hood and find us somebody. Self. Okay, guys, I got a question for you. So let's say, let's say little Jason is born. Because Shade Milkman brings up a good point. What if, and hear me out here, what if the baby comes out and it's not Josh's? What if it comes out looking like Dark Flinny? Comes out looking like Sean. Looks like Clint. How would you guys feel? Check it out. I would lose it if it came out looking like Alex or really just anybody but Cobra. That would be great. <laughs> it just fucking dropped him. Man, I know this cat. I love the ragdoll mod. They just fall so quick. I know his place. It's just across the tracks there. Let's check it out. Hey, ain't that front yard turf? Man, are you a buster? It just comes out and his eyes are wonky and you immediately know it's not Josh's. Hey, grab hold of that bat over there. Hell yeah, I got a bat. What, you driving that what the fuck's man, up with this? Oh yeah. I guess it's another mod we have that adds like texture variations to characters. So if it spawns two of the same model, there'll be some variations, like some accessories, clothing differences, faces. It just freaked me out for a second. Oh yeah, booty jams. Hey, hey guys, guys, be good. I see what you're trying to do in chat. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Euphoric Space Cadet says, Ro, can you say boy? <laughs> I give up. <laughs> and different, uh, different emotions. So we have boy, we have boy, we have boy, 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 like that. Is that what you wanted? Or did it still need to have the oh sound to it? Good guys getting his PP sucked to the back. He's oh, getting a wiener suck. Damage. That was some of the hot copy animations back there. Holy shit. <laughs> he got launched. <laughs> Bitch. Fuck. Would you slap Don't block you me, me There we go. Oh, you didn't die? You wanna get smoked, okay. baby? You know what? Move it, motherfucker. And since we're here, that's a woman. You know what we do to women? There we go. Oh, you think you touching, homie? Please get out of my way, Ryder. The body's still warm if you want it. Oh, he's... Let's do it, come on. There we go. Oh. Hey, I'm big. How dare you be passed out and drugged? Stay at home. <laughs> there is nothing I can do for you, Chet. Now ballers no Grove Street families on their way back up. Show, Neko says, uh, Rogue, I speak her. <laughs> oh, man, Uh, I don't know if you can say that word. I mean, technically, it's not a bad word, but it sounds like one. Barking Possum wants me to spell I cup. Oh, I wonder what that would make me say. I see you. Oh, that's not good. You really bamboozled me that time. Later, homie. I just see Venetia's damn people out. <laughs> I don't even know. Like, I saw what they were spelling to start with, and I saw a bunch of M's and R's and A's, and I don't know what the hell they were trying to spell. I didn't say P. I could have sworn I just said P. Did I not say P? 
And Dustin wants to know if I've ever played uh, Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. No. No, I have not. I need a dick in me saying no goat. No, the goat is at work today. You're stuck with me for just a little bit here. After this stream, I gotta do some more, uh, some more video research. I was, uh... I guess I'll go ahead and tell you guys. Uh, I was working... I was beginning to work on King Cobra JFS and finances. And I still intend to do it, but I stopped where I was at in favor of working on King Cobra JFS and love. Because I believe there's a lot more potential there, and it's a more relevant topic for this, uh, this time. So, I want to look at not just Jessica and Stephanie, but every girlfriend that he's fumbled, the sex dolls, his weird relationship with Warlord Alex, everything. Every single possible thing I could possibly look at as far as the, bo the boy, I almost said the boggy boy, the boy and uh, his interactions with sexuality and uh, his understanding of sex and women and all of that fun stuff. But fuck me, man. Thank God other channels have compiled like compilations of all of his stuff pertaining to certain topics. But fuck me, I can't, I mean, it's so hard to sit through three hours of Josh just going, yeah, well, I, I'm kind of thinking about being asexual or not. I fucking killed the, 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 not the blow. Well, I mean, he did kill a blow up doll, but I was going to say the fleshlight. I did enjoy watching him cut up a fleshlight. I, I never used it. Then two days later, he confessed to having used it and he was missing it. Holy Yank says, do you think his sex doll is still his favorite girlfriend? Yeah, fun size Felicia knew how to take it. She was bad. The Packhead says, uh, you think him and Alex ever drunkenly made out? I, Alex would have been all about it. Nobody sent in 199 saying, da boy, you're right, da boy. You want grand what is your profile picture, nobody? What is that? I... I recognize it, but I don't know where it's from. I'm pretty sure Pro got that fucking thing, whatever it is. Not all colorful like you got it there, but he got that tattooed on his body like last year. What is that? Ghostbuster fan says, I do a double feature with King Cobra's girlfriends and Cyrax and his girlfriends. I don't think I'm going to be covering Cyrax. It's just his, uh, his people and the people that cover him uh, extensively are... For lack of a better term, they are very possessive, and I don't really feel like stepping on anybody's toes. I don't want to get involved in any dumb drama, so they can have it. And Yank brought up that she bitches a whole lot less than now, too. I know, right? Felicia was a sensitive lover and would take care of Cobra in all of the most important ways. Nobody says, it's Crow from Mystery Science Theater 3000. Okay. Okay, cool. Now it all makes sense. I've been wondering, like, what the fuck is that? Oh, come the fuck on. Why is he shooting at me? It's only one star. They're not supposed to shoot at you with one star. How'd you guys feel about Cobra saying that Jessica's pussy smells like Wendy's? Is that, um, that really caught me off guard. Your pussy smells like Wendy's in, in the grease, dude. Idiot! Film nerd, it's snowing where you're at, too. It, like, it dusted where I'm at. Did it hit you guys heavy? This wyvern said Bogusy got that stank. Oh god. Drinko Drivo said, Why did little Jason Voorhees Saunders not stop crying two seconds after he was born? He had a so midlife crisis. Ooh, respect you mean he's gonna be dead burn, soon? Sweet, just like money. So what you saying? You don't respect me? What I'm saying is, speak up, nigga. I'm hungry. <laughs> oh, he's hungry. Yeah. He looks it. Hey, man cannot on? live on bread alone. I know. I tried that shit. Carl, you look a little thin, man. You gotta be hungry, man. Yeah, man, I could eat. So, to Chad, eat I, I gotta know. Tacos. What would each of you have to be paid in order to sleep with naked and laugh? Do the whole shebang. You know? Just one time. It's gotta be at least 30 minutes to an hour. You gotta do a little bit of everything. Gotta finish. You gotta finish. She's gotta finish. How much? 
What's the going rate? Our minds get killed. We gotta talk about it. We all gotta talk about it. They was going for sweet. <laughs> That's the first reply. You know that. you Purple know Peak said, like shoot me instead. They have love for you. And Satterall said, I'd rather kill myself. Dance. God damn. Some people say they saw a green saber doing the work, then speeding away. Yeah, but people like to talk. Hold on, can I push this woman off anyway, the ledge? That's half a you talking about. Come on, come on, like bitch. Hey, Get lined up. They sprayed the house. Look where you going, Fuck shit. you, you stupid bitch. Walk. No. Get further in there. Oh. There we go. Oh, I love Ragdoll. Call. What do you want? You gotta eat to keep your strength up, man. Hey, I'll take a number nine, fat boy. Give me a number nine, just like he is. Uh, let me get a number six. Come on, Chad. You know the you know the words here. I'll have two number, number nines, nines, a number, number nine large, a number, number six, six with extra dip, a number, number seven, two, two number forty fives, one with cheese, and a large soda. Now, what I love about this cutscene is they're at the window, or not the window, they're at the speaker box, hey, right? Sorry, but they're gonna bro. get a bag of food you know from the speaker box. Mind. They don't no, move. I'm just trying not to think about it, bro. I mean, I didn't know she was hit until it was Look all at that. Yeah, Where the right, fuck right, did right, it come right. from? Let's eat. And that window back there is too far away. It's either right next to the speaker box. Does it work? Hey, don't we got beef around here? We've been getting into it with these fools. I can't stand cold food. Unlike you, I ain't never ate from a trash can. <laughs> oh, shit. Trash can, bitch. Pass me my food. Hey, hey, look. Kilo Trey scoping us out. Damn, Ryder, you are jinx. Shit, the motherfuckers headed to the hood. Mr. Waifu Taker sent in five dollars Canadians and clucking bell. If you enjoyed it, the chicken didn't die in vain. Oh hell yeah! I want whatever it is that clucking bell has, where they take a chicken, fill it up with mashed potatoes and gravy and corn, and just serve it like that. KFC needs to be taking fucking notes. That and they need to bring back the double deck. Come on, motherfucker! Ted Comet sent in five dollars saying if Kobe dump, dumps Mythica, he's gonna delete his channel out of spite. He's too stupid to change his password. I really doubt she knows his password. Do we know if she's got that kind of credential? Or those kind of credentials, rather? There we go. Bitch. Come on, CJ. Earn your keep. I need the ammo. We're in. He does have his login detail. Oh, he's fucked then. He better change that. I'm on. I don't give a fuck how good of a relationship you have with somebody. If your career is entertainment, like YouTube and shit like that, you should never, ever, 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 ever get out your fucking password. Say what, Smoke? All you managed to do was eat my damn food up. It's just the same password he had when it got leaked before, but just with like a two at the end of it. Get back to the crib. CJ, give me a ride. All right, Smoke, let's go. See y'all later. Holbun sent in two dollars saying, how dare you stream while I'm at work, boy, and said I love you with a little heart. Well, you know what? I gotta do what I gotta do, Holbun. I'm sorry. Maybe you shouldn't have been at work. You would have been able to be here for the stream. Rubble Mike says, no Mel after Dark. Then, uh, no, she wouldn't want to do this shit. Tell me why you moved out the I'm here tonight. Hey, thanks, Carl. Hey, I miss having you around, baby. Thanks, man. I wish Sweet thought like that. He don't mean to CJ. He's still real tore up about your moms, man. Here, get I hope we get to see OG Loke this stream. Relax, I think he's like a mission or two out from here. Anime Bobby Hill. Wonderful name there. Said, Rogue, your gaming streams always make my day. Well, I'm happy to help, man. 
That's what I'm here for. I just want everybody to have a good time. We can shoot a little shit and uh, enjoy the time we have on this planet. Until it explodes or we die beforehand. What would Sir like? Give me pizza. We're out of napkins. When the game saves, does it refill my health? Like, I, I know when you save at a, like, an actual save point, it refills your health and hunger and shit, but I, I thought I had a little bit of health missing. Maybe when it activates autosave, it refills your health. If so, that's useful. Yeah. Hey, CJ, it's sweet. Hey, what's up? If you don't respect your body, ain't nobody gonna respect you. You're too skinny, CJ. You need to pack on some muscle. If I wanted Ooh. nagging... I buy a clockwork wife. Just looking out for you, homie. It's all show and respect, you know. We're gonna have to get him all muscly. This is a gym I go to a couple blocks out from the Grove. Go check it out and get yourself a gangster physique. I'll scope it out. Later, man. A Ghostbuster fan said, uh, Ad Rogue, you got inspired from the Howard Stern show for the humor of Act After Dark. I don't know so much about the humor. I'm sure there's some level of inspiration there, but uh, the stuff for After Dark was obviously taking inspiration from Stern. Uh, I've always been fascinated by the Stern show, at least when it was good. And uh, there's things from it I do would like to copy. I kind of hoped that, like, with Zack, we'd have our own little kind of beat-adjacent person, but that kind of fell through. Yo, you wanna learn some uh, I'm too skinny for that. But, uh, what was I saying? I really would love to have just some weirdos we can have on that we don't have to bully him or anything like that or laugh at him too hard. Just people that are a little different, bring them on, and they're just all our own, you know? Uh, pressing left shift and left mouse. Oh, come on. What? Okay, let's try a lower weight then, because that's clearly not working for me. Seeing Dylan brought up in chat, did something happen with him? But no, Ghostbuster fan, definitely, I, at some point in the future, I would like to carefully copy the formula a bit more, because I feel like... The old Stern show still has a place in this world, and it could definitely survive. And I think the internet is the, <clears throat> like, the perfect breeding ground for it, because we have so many wacky people out there. And maybe in the future, I just want to have more alternating guests. I'd like to have not just me and Asterix every stream, and not just having guests on, but maybe one other person we can have on more often, or we can kind of ro maybe rotate them out, or somebody who can handle doing, like, sound effects similar to Fred Norris for the show, something like that. A third wheel who would help us manage the show a little bit more and kind of break up the monotony of just me and Asterix would help a lot. It's just I don't know who I can trust. Because when if somebody's going to be on the show with us consistently, I want to make sure they get paid and some people get greedy. I just want to make sure everybody's happy. Uh, <clears throat> Brain said that Dylan privated all of his videos again. Well, that's no shocker. Dylan does that. He gets scared and then he runs off the internet. Shit, who hasn't done that, right? Elf Enjoyer says, I hope 6 is closer to 4. I'm hoping so as well, at least narratively. I would like a slower burn. I'd love to see a good mix of the gameplay between, like, 4, 5, and Red Dead 2. Get ahead of myself here. And from those leaks, it looks like we're going to be getting something pretty similar. I'm hoping we just get a longer, slower, more... I, I want a game I can really invest time into, and I'm not done with it within a day. Like, I beat GTA 5, I think, like, just over 13 hours after getting it. And of course, I anticipate beating 6 fast, but I just, I want to be able to do my first run, get a lot of it, and then take my time slower, and really soak up everything. You know? That's the kind of shit I live for as far as Viddy goes. Dead comment sent in $5 saying, which law code would you want to see on Classic Stern? They can be from any time in their history. Also, Cobes is gonna leave now at the airport. I fucking hope he does. Just drop her ass there. Um... Daniel, I think, would be very funny for a Stern interview, because they would interview weird homeless people. Uh, I'm trying to think. Classic Cyrex, you know, his early shit before he just got how he is now would have been great when he's still doing his music shit hardcore. Uh, I think who else? Cobra would honestly be a really good one, too, because of his whole music career, and he thinks he's a gothic bad boy. The, the, the whack pack is what really pulled me into the Stern show, and I think it's the reason why I find Lolcow so interesting. Dr. Negus B. Wilden sent in $2 saying, Bring me on, Rogue. I am hinged and can be trusted. Oh, are you really? You're not unhinged, right? You watch your tongue. I mean, your name makes me question it, but you, you might be a good guy. 
Uh, Erebus Grimm says, isn't Lord Propanky your equivalent of Beat? Kind of, sort of. I'm going to be real with you guys. Uh, I've seen Pro do some pretty nutty shit. Like, he's playing a character when he comes on, but there's some things about him that are just truly bizarre. And uh, he reminds me a lot of Elliot Offen at times. Don't worry, he's not, like, running down the street, like, in women's clothing and running over old ladies. But just, when he gets in one of his moods and he's loud, he's fucking loud. You cannot avoid the motherfucker. I need more ammo. I should probably stop by the strip club and get more shotgun ammo, too. Fuck. And another thing, too, is, like, if I'm going to have more people on, I want to make sure that there's, uh... Not everybody is good enough for stream. I'm certainly no professional, but I like to think I at least can fill in dead air. I'm good at, I don't know, conversing and trying to relay, uh, an idea and build a conversation. Definitely people out there better than me, but I'm pretty proud of what I can pull off. And if I'm going to bring someone on, it would be somebody that, I. Uh, I can bounce off of really well, somebody Asher can bounce off of really well. And when we had the old server, it was easier to find people, but, you know, that's over. I feel like Brains is really good for that, but I know he's got his own thing going on, and he's got work and stuff like that, so I don't want to put unnecessary pressure on him. Because the uh, the streams, like, they, they've always been like a group effort to pull off, but now more than ever, it's definitely me and Asterix just pulling everything together. And I just, I want to make sure that everybody is, is content and happy. Fuck, why did I hit W? I meant to hit S. Mysterious Senor Hitler, you raise an interesting offer. I maybe somebody should take over my streams and bully me, and that would, that would be awesome. Mysterious Senor Hitler, you, you would tell me about Patrick Tomlinson. What is the deal with Patrick? I I have seen him on Twitter picking fights with people, calling them child, and saying that he's been swatted and shit. What what is the appeal of Patrick Tomlinson or whatever the fuck his last name is? What did he do? Exactly. I know he just doesn't know how to respond to criticism and yells and gets mad, but has he done something, like, truly egregious? Let's start another mission, I guess. Ghostbuster fan, I don't believe she knows anybody. Give me 15, motherfucker! I'll write it down in a second. I ain't gonna pencil with you, fast sucker. Let me play first. I was up. What's up, man? If nothing else, I would like just having more guests that I could rotate out. Because, like, prior to the DFE and we had the server, it used to be it, me and Asterix streams would be maybe once a month, and then we would have guests every other stream. Well, what you gonna do if the ball is And I'd love to have that back. But, you know. Say, what happened to Emmett? Emmett? Shit, gangs these days got Max, AKs, and all kind of stuff. Because he has to have the last word, so you can just, uh, he hasn't changed his phone there, number, so you can just pat, pat post him Wookiees, guitar solos, everything, he responds to it all. So he's just terminally online, though. I don't understand how somebody can be on the internet for so long and not grasp that you have to let go of shit. Like, people are always gonna try to fuck with you and say mean shit, and you just gotta let it roll off your back. Sometimes it might get a little farther than you're comfortable with, and you just gotta deal with it, but you can't just pick fights and expect it all to go well. Part of being a grown man is knowing when to shut the fuck up. At least, from my point of view. You're a leader, a visionary. Remember me when you get to the top. Dal's asking a curious rogue, GTA or Saints Row? Um, it's neck and neck for me in a lot of ways. Uh, GTA is better narratively, and I love me a good narrative. I want to... My, my thing is, when it comes to games like this, I want not only a good story, but structured things to do in an unstructured environment, if that makes sense. And both games seem to capture that pretty well, but uh, Saints Row is more about just the chaos and playing around with the core gameplay, and, and the GTA games are more about selling the world to you while still trying to give you some of that gameplay in between, uh, playing with the suspension of belief. If I really had to pick, I'd probably have to go with GTA. Man, Just better relatable shit. characters. Saints Row isn't doesn't pull me in as much. The first two Saints Row games are fun. Even three and four are fun, but they're just... It's not the same, and at least with the GTA games, with all their differences, you can... 
if you've played one, you can pick up another one and you're pretty good to go. You can do that with Saints Row 2 and mostly 3. But once you get to like 4, get out of hell, the Saints Row reboot, Agents of Mayhem, if you want to consider that a Saints Row game. Uh, it, it becomes abundantly clear that you can't have a concise experience with the franchise. It, it lost its identity. So for me, I, I definitely have to go with GTA. Yeah, that's real Grove Street style now. Anita Dickamy says, have you ever considered doing call-ins? I did, but I know you guys would just call in and say the N-word. You know how you guys were. I, the, like, there was a bunch of different ideas I was playing around. Let me pause so I can explain this. I had some ideas like, so Astrick and I are still working on the new set, and I need to pass it along to Linky so that way he can start uh, getting the, this stuff in order. Thank you, I'm sorry. And uh, so uh, one of the things I was thinking about is like, what if every other week we uh, had like, uh, we checked the answering machine and we listened and we could have stuff where we have pro record funny voicemails and shit like that. But then another system where we set up a phone number and you guys can leave voicemails, I'll listen to it. If, there any, if there's anything funny or engaging, something like that, I'll save it and we can play it on stream. But I don't know. I really don't know. There's gotta be something funny we can do, because I, I I really like the idea of After Dark not just being about laughing at log cows, but being more of a so of kind of a talk show, kind of not. Like, I still want to talk about log cows. They're going to be the primary focus. I'm never going to be able to get away from that stuff. It's just the nature of this business. But I do have a lot of fun when I can just talk to somebody, or kind of like here, where I'm having a conversation with you guys, to the best of my ability. Hey. You're a killer, baby. Ice cold. Barking Possum well, said Zach could call it. See, exactly. Just little shit. Game, my brother. Listen to the boy. Yeah, I guess Liberty didn't soften you none, huh? Hey, look, let's split. Hey, I see you round, Emmett. I'm 100% behind you, boys. But exactly. I like this, just... You didn't get I want to, to approach this. the whole this kind of stern adjacent angle, but talk about I'm a little bit of internet history, lol cows, weird nine, shit found online. I like that. And I know a lot of people are just here because they want to hear me talk about lol cows, and that's fun. I get it. That's the main appeal of the content. That's what people tune in to see. But if I'm not having fun with what I'm doing, to me, it's not worthwhile. And of course, I do this for money. It's important to be able to make money off of this. But I still, at the end of the day, I have to be having fun. And to me, being able to just talk about shit, shoot the shit with people is fun. What's going on, man? Shit seemed pretty Alex Channel says, have a burner phone number. That's what we, how we'd have it running. And their hearts, CJ. What are you talking about? I'm talking about the choices all men... Dad Warden says, there's nothing to talk about what Cobes does. I mean, we could spend an entire stream focusing on what Cobra does, but I don't want to just talk about Cobra. Who, me? There's plenty of cows I'd love to talk about, but unfortunately, the, the people around them are a little too possessive. And Daniel is currently locked up. I don't really find Christian boring, CJ, or uh, interesting, he's boring now, Let us smoke. but I don't know, there's always something to look at, it's just, it's finding a happy medium. Speak. I thought you was representing. What? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I thought you was rolling with Grove Street again. Already told you I am. Well, I ain't seen you in your colors yet. You gotta fly the flag, man. Ain't nobody gonna respect you if you ain't representing your hood. Right, man. My now we gotta make him naked and wear green to underwear to make There's sweet happy. The corner from the gym again. Go get yourself some green. You don't need this no more. Cool. What did Brain say here? Would be cool having rotating topics with that low cow part being present no matter what. Definitely would feel like a radio show. That's what I want to do. Like, we already rotate through cows every stream, but I'd like to have some stuff that isn't just cow-related, but I don't... I gotta find what works. You know, like, there's some goofy shit. Like, uh, something kind of vaguely internet-related. Uh, we were looking last night at... There was a woman years ago who was claiming that she was black, but she is not genetically Afri of African descent in any fucking bit. You know, she's white. She just has frizzy hair, you know, and she, she automatically assumes like, oh, well, I've got this curly kind of frizzy hair and I tan myself. I'm a black woman. And she got called out for it. But apparently she was found uh, with an OnlyFans account and now there's images floating around of her in bikinis and shit. And I just found her hilarious years ago. And maybe that'd be funny to talk about on stream. I don't know. Anita Dickamy says, I would love to see Depression on more often. Yeah, he's good when he's on. I'd be more than happy to have him on. 
Uh, Barking Opossum says, uh, oh my god, Tafia Chu, I do intend to talk about her soon. I have been working on a Nova Online video, and I have to briefly touch on Tofia during it. Thank you, sir. There we go. But let's make them all green. Can we do that? Aren't there green jeans? Ooh, we should retexture the hoodie to be Larson's hoodie. That would be funny. Uh, green jeans. There we go. Barking Possum says, Rogue, I know so much about Tofia Chu. I, I mean, sir. credit to you, but I, I don't know how fuckers use TikTok. I cannot stand TikTok. I hate that site. Aw, oh, hell yeah. See, now there will never be any doubt. It was a pleasure, sir. Film Nerd says, I mentioned that a fun topic would be looking at AVGN ripoffs like Irate Gamer, The Game Dude, The, a the Angry Pissed Off Gamer, etc. That's a good idea. I know a little bit about The Irate Gamer. I know a few years ago he was doing a channel where he talks about ghosts and the apocalypse. And I think there was even, I could be wrong here, but I vaguely recall there being a video where he was saying that the, the Christians were going to get persecuted in the U.S. But I could be wrong. I might be getting a mixed up, so don't take my word for that. But I know for a fact he was like doing ghost hunting shit. Mysterious Senor Hitler sent in five dollars saying if you do want to do bits, I could suggest some recordings. Adolfo Hitler addresses the Argentinian people from 1952, make them sound all old timey and like, oh yeah, how could that go wrong? Definitely an idea there, buddy. Okay, is it time to see Jeffrey? OG Loke? Uh, Euphoric Space Cadet says thoughts on Andrew Ditch, the, the paper autistic guy. You mean the, the guy who keeps shitting in diapers because he wants to? Uh, he's nasty. Yeah, you know Jeffrey's been somebody's bitch for the past three weeks, right? <laughs> I know. Yeah. Hey, hey, what's up, CJ? CJ? What's up? What's up, man? Wanna go to prison? What? <laughs> nah, pick up Jeffrey. He's touching down today. You wanna roll? Yeah, for sure. Here we go, Jeffrey guys. Jeffrey's going locked up anyway. You guys aren't familiar thing, with this man. game? OG Loke is the most important character. He reminds me of a few of you in chat, but I'm not naming any names. Chicken oh, Farmer says I could come on and we could rant about how the Popeye sex tape, uh, how it should be either found or recreated. Whoa, 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 whoa. Found or recreated? What the fuck do you mean found? Popeye sex tape found? There was was there an official Popeye sex tape? What? Or was it when they were filming the live-action movie? Did uh, did Robin Williams fuck somebody dressed as Popeye? Oh, yeah. He's a real gangster now. <laughs> I see. And what do you do? Pascal's hey, Rager said your mom goes to college. Jail. Nice Napoleon Dynamite reference. I'm gonna leave all of my my trendy little uh, keychains on your doorstep. Popeye x Betty Boop. It's real. You're fucking with me. There's no way. How do we know it's real? Do we have images? Paul buns into two dollars saying, "I love your Acer Thorn streams. Having a hard time, f. Oh fuck you! I'm not having a hard time. I'm a better gamer than Acer Thorn." Hey, did that fool go? Look at this. Fool, True Capitals Radio. That's a fucking name I haven't heard in a while. There he is. <laughs> I know that fool can't be serious. Hey. What's happening with you, Jeffrey? Hey, man, it's OG Loke, homie. OG Loke. Oh, he's hard ah, as hell. Ah, my bad. How was it though, homie? Man, what you think? How was it? Hey, chill out, dude. So what you wanna do now? Man, I gotta kill some chola motherfucker. He was dissing me, man. Hey, Jeff. I thought you was going to uh college. <laughs> <laughs> man, fuck you. Motherfucker done stole my rhymes. He's in East Flores. Hey. Give me a strap. Man, Boo Boo H Man sent in five dollars saying you need a guy with a soundboard that plays at inappropriate times. I know. I would love somebody who could do soundboard shit. That would be a welcome addition to the show. What's your plan? Big gangster? Now you a free man. We're gonna go see uh Jeffrey's uh prison daddy. Jailhouse daddy. And it's gonna be raining awesome just when I want it. Ain't so bad. 
I'm gonna be a hygiene technician. Coming up in the world, huh? Just a stepping stone to greatness. The other day, speaking of Acer Thorn, I found the old uh, thumbnail artwork from when I was going to do an Acer Thorn video on the old channel. And uh, I'm obviously not going to be doing that because he might try to sue me again. But uh, if those of you that are on Patreon, I, I think, pretty sure it's a $10 a month or more thing. You can see shit like that. We just put that up. And I only noticed the other night that the thumbnail art that was made had a, a fly on his chin, which is great. I'll see you guys back on set. Ghostface sent in two dollars saying Jeffrey got poked in the pokey while in jail. That he did. He got his prostate tickled with a uh, with a cholo's pee pee. Some people would feel Fred, very lucky I'm being in his shoes. Hey, Lo, hold up, Jeffrey, you got the wrong idea, man. That was just a prison thing. I, I got plenty of muchachas on the outside. I don't need your scrawny ass. Wait, Wait ignore him. See, I don't know what he talking about. Hey, yo, give me back my rhymes, you thief. I'm gangster. You Stuber TV so says the name sugar. Rogue Internet Man exists on official legal documents, any, right? which is amazing. Hey, I know, right? Hey, it's fucking hilarious. Hey, lo, get back here, nigga. You crazy. Hey, yo, back off me, CJ. I, I gotta protect my I hope if he ever does try to sue me again, he brings up the emails I sent him where I called him a stupid, fat regard. Obviously, I didn't say regard. I used the harder word. But I was not so nice in my emails. Oh, come on. Okay, I cannot check my phone during this. We got one coming in from Dr. Negus B. Wildin for $5. Saying, if you want to do Sonic Underground lore, I found a few episodes and saved them to a playlist. Ooh. But, uh, maybe. <laughs> maybe. If I don't die here. Looks like he at least stopped for me. That was kind of him. But that's an idea, man. We definitely need something like that. And I've got this this uh, one, like, kind of McLore-adjacent thing that's McDonald's-related, made in The Sims 2. But I don't know if it would be good for stream. Like, I find it funny, but I think it might be a little too dry for what we do. It does have Michael Jackson in it, so there's plenty of uh, molestation jokes. Come on, fucker. Then we got one more coming in from Linky Pup for four ninety nine, saying, "What if Cove stream was quiet, no one in view, and then out of nowhere you just hear a fart, extra reverb, and get picked up from his mic?" I, I'd be all about that. That would be very fucking funny. Catch me if you can. I thought for sure he was dead the other night when he just started to stream, passed out, and uh, when uh, Nal kept covering the the camera up with a receipt and all that shit. I thought for sure he was ODing or dead or something, but no, he was alive. Which is good. I'm glad. I would have missed the boy. Come on already. This fucker cannot aim for shit. Over here. Saw some blood come off of him, so we're getting somewhere now. Like a little bit of smoke, too. We might be nearing the end of this. <clears throat> Fuck you. Motherfucker. There he is. Come on, Jeffrey. Get him already. I can catch up. I can probably get him. Got him. Finally. Fuck you. Can I at least pick up the money? Was you lonely, low? Hey. Dolls asking if, uh, if I think there's any hope for Cobes actually coming off the booze. No, I don't believe that's gonna happen. Come on, gangster. Let's get back to the grove. No, I, I think he's always. I think it's gonna lead to his death. He's never gonna be off of it. Whatever you want. You want to ride anyway? Sure thing. Let's roll. Give me the money. Hey, take me to the burger shop in Marona Beach. You're the boss. Cause I'm keen with the hygiene on a mission like a super technician, baby. Well, I guess we don't get his gun, or the bike. The bike just disappeared. 
2 is kind of extremely repetitive, but he has an, uh, a hate boner for uh, Gerard the Lard completionist, and it cracks me up. Ever heard of five love thumb? I have not, but I, let me screenshot that, and I will look into him. Thank you. Uh, nobody sent in 499 saying, I love the sound of the guns in this game. I know that they are really, really nice. That's one thing Rockstar always seems to nail is, like, sound effects. Sound effects and music. All the guns in this just sound perfectly punchy. A little bit crunchy, but I, I like crunchiness. As I get older, I find that I love lower poly graphics and blurrier textures and crunchier sound effects. Something about it just tickles the right parts of my brain. I feel comfy, if that makes any sense. Fuck, I was looking at my phone again. We'll just take a cut through this big tunnel around here. The left side of my brain is telling me that you're sending off some signals. So let me slip into this leather and I will be right back. Where is... it's over here. <gasps> no! Uh, that's okay. We'll get another bike. Or a car or something. Hey, over here! Come on, keep up! Is he dead? Now there he is. I thought he drowned. I was about to get really upset. Come on, man, keep up! Vicky said I prefer Vice City sound effects. I'm, that's fine. I, I agree. Those are good too. I, I would say they're probably better than San Andreas, but they're both good in their own ways. Hey, over here! Come on, keep up! Whatever you do. Uh, Let's try that again. Do, do. Fuck you. So I'm just I'm just curious, you know, like uh, what is your guys' comfort game? Like I just said basically anything that's got these low poly graphics and classic GTA games, they pickle all the right spots for me. I feel just right at home. What is it for you guys? What makes you feel all warm and fuzzy when you play? It takes it back to your childhood when things were simpler. See Sam and Max, The Long Dark, Fallout New Vegas, solid choice. Wario Land 4. There was some Wario... Was it Wario World on the GameCube? It was kind of like a beat-em-up Wario game. I played that a decent bit. I haven't played that in years, but I enjoyed it. World of Warcraft, Sonic Adventure, oh, that's a good one. Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 soundtrack gets me all emotional, takes me back to being a real young babby. Far Cry 3, solid. Halo CE, also a very good choice. Seeing a lot of really good choices here. Halo Reach, Halo Reach is so good, man. Oh my god. Classic Halo does it for me. You can not, it's a good one. Dustin's asking if I've ever played WoW. I played a demo of it years ago, like a trial, but I never really got into it. That's life. Another solid option. SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom. I played that back on the uh, the GameCube. It was a solid one. Was it? Didn't it get remastered? Was that any good? Do we know? Oh good, my lock-on accuracy has uh, improved despite not being able to lock on. Oh yeah, 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 that pistol. You know, we all talked shit about everything being yellow and green back then and it being ugly. And shortly after that era ended, all people did was shit on it, but I miss it. Something about it, man. Oblivion... Buy rough for PS1. That is a game I haven't played in years. Let's do a couple more missions and then we'll call it stream. How's that sound for you guys? Just a little bit more time to bond. Because then after this, I gotta get to actually doing some video work. And of course, in case you guys weren't here when I announced it, tonight a new video will be dropping on Daniel Larson's health and hygiene. I believe it's about 25-ish minutes long. Um... I'm debating on making it a premiere or not. I don't know if premieres are worth the investment. Do you guys like premieres? I could drive as well as CJ, man. I'm <laughs> telling you. 
Yeah. Hey, homie, what's up? Hey, what you saying about me, fool? What's up, man? I'm saying that. Boglum Chronicles said, uh, naked and laughing is boarding her plane now. Cobra sent her home a day early. Are you serious? All it is, is, is he mad at her? CJ, draw it in. Bullshit. Man, why don't you just take it easy? What happened? No disrespect, man. She was supposed to go home, like, tomorrow or Sunday, Thanks, right? Nah, nah, nah. Say what you really mean. You such a good government, homie. You gotta ride shotgun. Show CJ what's cracking. Hey, Dingus know, so Can, the Muty Nurgle Hybrid Black Dragon, sent in one the night saying, Happy home. birthday, funny mask man. Well, thank you. It's sure. not my birthday for quite a while, but thank you. Foglum Chronicle says she live streamed from the airport. Real? Oh my god. Holy shit. <laughs> That's awesome. That is that is awesome. Going, huh? Man, Asterix's gonna shit to when I tell her. That is fucking great. Do we know why he sent her home early? Is he mad at her? Is there any animosity? I don't mean to, to be asking you so many questions, but hell yeah, that's good. I'm glad. Hopefully she fucking goes away. Stays away. Fuck, go back to Virginia and fucking freeze, bitch. She just live streamed from her backup account. We got the footage. She panicked, deleted it. Oh man, so was she like all erratic and angry? Carl, just concentrate on the driving, and we'll take care of the shoot. Got the, to the, you got the team working on it now. Oh man, I'm excited. Yeah, if the car stops, we dead meat. I bet you can't wait for now to be out of the picture, right? Sure, she shakes up the Cobraverse, but I, you know, I get tired of just listening to her. I feel for you having to edit her, man. I'm gonna have to do with that for my King Cobra JFS and Love video, but uh, I don't know how much I could stomach, man. Like I was saying earlier, you know, I'm thankful there's channels like you and then Lin and Lin and Bike Size and stuff who compile this the information, make it easier to digest. But fuck me, it's hard to research this fucking guy when he spends two hours talking about how much he's he's done with women and he's thinking about becoming asexual and tearing up fucking blow up dolls. I, I forgot about the video until last night where he grabs the the blow up doll's face and holds it up to the camera like the sliced up face. Like what the fuck? He just seems so depraved. But I fucked it to death and I had to kill it. Wow, man. You guys are doing the Lord's work. Because I'm so sick of her, I can't wait for a gender relations rant or a drink combo video. Never thought I'd say that. Man. I know. I am, how do you feel about the meat arc, though? I, I gotta ask. Like, I'm, I'm bored of the meat arc, personally. Where, where's everybody stand on that actually? What is you doing? CJ, Carl, go run out on me again. Give me. Hey, give me that paper. There we go. We got one coming in from Cash the Wisconsinite for five dollars and just got off work. Glad I didn't miss a stream. What happened with the lot lizard? Just got here. Oh, she's already going home. She was at the airport earlier, so we might be rid of her for now. Tired the meat arc is trash. I'm tired of the meat arc. Yeah, the meat arc is dry and stale now. Yeah, I wish he would just, if he was going to make meat, he needs to make it out of some really depraved shit. Start making it with meat. Something, I don't know. Something that could easily rot that's not just fruit. Fruit's not as exciting. Man, what I tell y'all? Told you he was a buster. I just, I hope that this isn't going to be the peak of this year. Surely there's got to be more exciting things coming to the Cobraverse. Seeing uh, Darth Lenny show up again gives me some hope because I would love to see some more streams where Cobra's got his friends over, but he's too fried for that. No, 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 you motherfucker! No, you bitch! Man, what I tell y'all? Told you he was a bust. No, no, fuck! Your homies didn't make it. Oh. No! <laughs> oh no! She'll be causing all kinds of problems. Yeah, I don't expect her to totally leave the Cobraverse yet. Like, I'm gonna be real with you, man. I've been hoping that maybe, like, because she doesn't like when Coves talks about like Alicia Rohde or Stephanie or anything. I was hoping that, hoping, hoping that Stephanie would get like pissy about. Uh, Stephanie, uh, or Stephanie would get pissed about Jessica or vice versa and there would be like some ex-girlfriend versus current girlfriend drama. That would be exciting to see. But otherwise, I'm ready for Jessica to get the fuck out. Vicky Martini I sent in $2 saying, what did I tell you? Man. Told you he was a buster, you're right. I'm a fucking buster, all right. God damn. Try again. I hope Cope streams tonight. 
we going, homie? Rolling high, Paula's country. Do us a little drive. How'd you guys feel about uh, Clinch showing up to the uh, Cobra Lair the other night to uh, check on the boy and drop off like P.O. Box shit? I love how he didn't do anything to protect his boy, but he made sure to pick up the wood chips. Dustin's asking if I've ever played Cruelty Squad. No. Yeah, for sure. I'm ready. Bogum Chronicle said, I uh, hope we can convince another mentally ill girl to to go there now and, and see Jessica have a meltdown. Yeah. I, I'm fine with a dry spell no longer being a thing and Cobra getting pussy as long as he's fucking different weirdos. It'd be great if Cobra ended up having a, a, a harem of different regards. Speaking of, uh, of Jessica and Cobra, the, the other night when the cops kept coming and Clint showed up, do we have any idea what was going on with Cobes? Was he taking pills or something? Because I, you know, I've never been a pill guy myself. I've never tried him. I have no interest in it. It seems, you know, out of all the drugs you can do, why the fuck do you want to be a zombie? And uh, from everything I've ever seen, that really looks like he's taking, like, pills of some kind. I don't know what kind, but he looks like he was taking fistfuls. Stranger Bob sent in one that a nine saying, Rogue, do you need your pronouns eight? My pro oh, I read it. <laughs> I read it as my pronouns. They're like, what? <laughs> Excuse me? But he said your propanus eight. Yeah, actually, yeah, my propanus. My uh, my actual pronouns, buddy, are uh, pro and pain. And if you're feeling saucy, anus. Anus self. Man, you gotta ease up some. No more pain that kids, okay? I hope Cobra doesn't start following her uh, lead by covering the camera with a receipt and muting the mic and shit. Because that'll be annoying. But even if he starts doing it, it won't last long. At least I don't think it will. I need a dick me sent in 499 saying, Hey Rogue, I know you don't seem like your thing, but what is your preferred horror game? Ooh. See, that's a tough one. Like, horror games, like, like I've said, aren't really my thing. But there are horror games I do enjoy. Like, Luigi's Mansion, I consider it a horror game to an extent. It is a little spooky. I like when things are a little strange, spooky, mysterious, and kooky. But the last horror game that really stuck with me was Doom 3. I'd have to say. Um, and honestly, uh, some Gmod horror maps have really, really hit it for me. That stuff really has been has been great. But I, I'd like to play more horror games, but a lot of the the scary aspects to me have always felt kind of cheap. Too, too many games rely on jump scares, and jump scares aren't a terrible thing, but they can get a little tiresome. Big Brain Boyos had just played Half-Life 1 for the first time. Did you complete it? What'd you think? Pretty solid. If you liked it, you should try out Black Mesa. It's pretty damn good, too. It's a perfect mix of, um, Black... Yeah, Half-Life 1 Cole and 2. Yeah, for sure. Fuck, they get Black Ops from. Man. Man, I'm shocked. Alex's channel says Left 4 Dead terrified me when I was a child. Left 4 Dead's got some good horror elements, too, but it stops being scary once you figure out how the mechanics work. It becomes more about a game mitigating annoyances. You're down with the Grove and the ballers know it. So watch yourself for now on CJ. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You know Honestly, that. like the the most horror adjacent yeah, thing yeah. I have played I'll in years was uh, me, Holy Yank from Chat and Asterisk, uh, CJ, and I believe Brains even got in on it. For a while, we were doing a. I was running a Gmod server with some very specific like dark maps. Like I found like a Camp Crystal Lake map, some Jason Voorhees skins, some melee weapons, and essentially I was uh, assuming the role of Jason using a skin, and I would kind of hide in the dark and get away from him. And I would set up scenarios for them to find, like, bodies and weapons and shit like that. And uh, their goal was to take me down. I had a bunch of health, but I would carefully pick them off one by one and set up, like, well, they haven't been to this cabin in a while, so next time they come back, there'll be a rag doll hanging from, like, a rope, and I'll have a machete stuck on them. Like, I I really enjoy... Honestly, when it, when it comes to, to games and shit, I really enjoy setting up uh, scenarios. Like, I get endless hours of entertainment just playing, like, Gmod, setting up a, a bunch of Combine and a map, saving it, and then trying to shoot my way out of it. I love scenario building. Yeah, uh, Barking Possum said, so you're a nerd? Yeah, I'm, I'm a huge nerd. You figured it out. Let's do one more mission for this stream. Just one more. Yeah, Mushroom says a rogue was role-playing as a Jason Voorhees Saunders. You got it right, bro. I was a little retarded Boglum baby. 
<laughs> you see Yang's is the most fun he had in Gmod. Man, that shit was fucking great. That fucking Friday the 13th map makes a great DM map as well. Barking Opossum says, what's your favorite horror movie? Uh, I'm simple, man. Uh, like we were just talking about Friday the 13th. I really, 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 really enjoy the classic Friday films. I have a lot of fun with them. They're probably my favorite. I also enjoy Halloween a lot. I really like slashers. Pingus can, the mutie Nurgle hybrid black dragon, sent in forward in the night saying, I'm convinced she'll lie and say she's pregnant for Bog Bucks. There's no way this ends clean. Before I forget, happy birthday chat. Don't, don't sex Hagravens. Hagravens? Well, you know what? Thank you. Thank you so much. And I'm sure it's going to end nastily. She's going to find some way to try to manipulate the Cobra. Let's just head back in here. I don't... I think... Yeah, well, this, should, this shouldn't be too bad. Sweet. I think the next Rider Small. mission is like the one where you got to raid the military or something. And OG Shit. Lokes is a dancing party, oh, I think. It? And I hate rhythm games. Fuck they had. Damn. Sturgis said, I unironically enjoy the Saw movies. I could never get into those. I can respect them for what they are, but to me, they felt like a lot of um, gore right. porn. And uh, I can't do torture shit. I'm good on that, man. I'd rather just see somebody get their head chopped in half right away. I don't want... I forget what Saw movie it was, but if somebody put their hands in like a glass box and it was razor blades going one way, so when they pulled their hand out, it would slice them up. God, fuck me, I can't do that. I cannot handle shit like that. That is fucking nasty. Uh, Dr. Negus B. Wilden sent in $2 saying, uh, what is your top 10 racism moments? Um, hmm. You know, I don't know if YouTube's going to let me say that. YouTube might have some rules about me detailing some of my favorite racist moments in history. I don't know, man. Uh, hmm. You know, I'll, I'll come back to that one. I gotta be. I gotta think about ones that don't make me sound like a bad guy if I if I talk about them. Yeah, I got. And Barking Possum says Rogue can't handle special effects. I I know it's fake, but just something about torture shit. It just makes my stomach turn. I'm good on that, man. Dustin says, you have any advice on writing scripts? I've been cooking on a one video for about a League of Legends low cow, but when I actually read it out loud, it always feels like it sucks. Um. Hmm. For me, what really works best is I, uh, obviously, I, I section off my work into individual documents. Like, I've got a research document, I've got a script document, I've got notes for editing. That guy is just bouncing. He's brutal. And, uh... I find I do my best work when I treat the research doc as also a secondary script writing doc. So I've got my jokes and my one-liners clips, all that stupid shit in there. But, uh, after that, uh, when it comes time to doing the script writing, what the fuck's going on there? I will, uh, of course, write new lines, but I'm able to take stuff from the research doc and put it on there. It's already got some punctual jokes and shit like that. And being funny, at least, I, I don't know if I am funny or not, comes from just kind of experience, I guess. And uh, at that point, it's more about figuring out, well, this is funny, this is funny, this is funny, this is important, this is not important, this is almost as important. I then I can just start baby. grabbing bits Man, of it and piecing it together to make a flow. Fan. That's what works for me. It's probably not the most hey, optimal, but I feel it works for what I do. Yeah, I unfinished business. Big love. Caller 347 sent in 199 saying, I think you will like a uh, uh, schoolie rage compilations. Who or what is that? And Herwin says, I see we're doing a two mad meltdown gameplay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, we are. There's a couple missions. Uh... How long have we been going for? Give me a second here. Uh, we've been going for about an hour and 39 minutes. Uh, let's go for just a hair longer. What do you say? We'll do one more mission, because I feel so inclined. And then we will call it a stream. Who should I do, guys? Ryder, OG Loke, or Big Smoke? I'm kind of feeling Big Smoke.
Neko's going to work. Will you have a good day at work, buddy? Smoke, big smoke, smoke. I see one rider. Smoky smoke. That's a lot of smoky smokes, so let's go see him. Come here. Man. America's a cold place, baby. Something I was thinking about, too, if you guys would be interested, is... So, San Andreas on the PS2 had a two-player functionality, and it still mostly exists on PC. You just gotta use a certain handful of mods to get it working properly. What I was thinking might be fun is what if I work a little bit and try to get this working in Steam Remote Play, and I can see if Asterix will be able to play it through Steam's Remote Play system, and then we could try to do a co-op run of San Andreas using that. There's going to be bugs, there's going to be times where I have to take full control, but it would still be funny and chaotic nonetheless, and you could bully Asterix for being bad at a video game. So, this is an idea. Or we could do some SAMP shit, she and I have played the hell out of that. Asshole. Yo, Carl, see you around. <laughs> Fuck they doing over here anyway, punk ass police. Those nosy motherfuckers won't leave me they alone. Touch my butt, old CJ. Think I'm big or something. They fuck me. But I don't me. tell them shit. For me, it's all about my homeboy Carl. Yeah, whatever you say. The game is real important, CJ. You know that. You down to represent, baby? Yeah. Look, my cousin is coming in town from Mexico. I got to go scoop her up. All right, Dan, come on. Fair enough. Fulcrum said, did you see the full interview Kiwi Tapes had with, uh, with Jupiter? No, I have not. Dr. Negus B. Wilden sent in $5 saying, how do you do your stream intro and outro? I've been streaming, not Loghouse stuff, but I always like how you set your stuff up. The, uh, so I use Streamlabs, and I just have the intro be a video that, that's its own layer that I can turn on and off. Streamlabs will preload videos when you switch to something, depending on how frequently, how, how long it's been since you've been there, or how many switches you've done from different scenes back to it. Or you can just manually do it. I actually have a little keyboard thing here in this, you might be hearing me tap on it, this box, that I'm going to be setting up keybinds so I can very quickly switch between the uh, scenes and whatnot. But... It's all about just finding a, a rhythm and doing it really fast. But all of my intros are just layers. And they're all made using Adobe Premiere and After Effects. Uh, yeah. Martin Sands sent in 499 saying, Any thoughts on the new trailer for EA College Football 25? Don't know if you like sports games, but it's going to be a good one. Uh, I have no formal opinion. I'm not a sports games kind of guy. But I hope it's very good for you, bud. Oh, yeah. Do... And I don't mean this to sound rude. Do, do sports games change that much through the yearly releases? Do they update them with player rosters like the previous games with patches? Or is it just like you have to buy the new one to get the updated shit? Curious. Special Ops Kiwi wants to know if I have touched Big Smoke's uh, crevasse. He won't let me. I gotta show him that I'm repping the game, you know. Fresh off the plantation. Pull up here, let me do the talk. Man, I should have known. Hey, excuse me, Jose. Yo soy el grando smokio, and I want that grass, comprende? <laughs> hey, fuck you, cabron. What? Here we go. Now that ain't nice. Coffee-o up el weedo before I blow your brains out all over the patio. Chinga tu madre. Damn. Damn. Ghostbuster fan wants to know if I'll do a video or small stream of the White Bowser, maybe in the future. Once his story slows down enough, I'd like to do an all-encompassing thing. Yeah, fuck a big smoke. Vicky Martini sent in five dollars. Ever wonder why there's a purple phallic object in the police station shower room? Well, you know, sometimes the cops get a little excited. We'll grab that before we end the stream. Man, I'm done. Damn, he moved fast. <clears throat> Come on, motherfucker. Make this easy. Doesn't have to be so hard. Or maybe it does. Do you super sprint? Come on, fucker. There we go. Cool. Let's go get that phallic object from the police station. Hey, I 
that on the G? What you got to say? Blitz the League? What is Blitz the League? I don't think I've heard of that. What the fuck is that? Spec Ops Kiwi said, uh, stupid shits like the FBI supports him and has his back. Like total re <laughs> recal, but for pedos. Oh, God. Wait, that's the wrong way. It's over that way. Isn't that pretty common for cows to be like, oh, the law's on my side. I'm going to get detectives, special agents. Fucked up version of Madden. What, what's fucked up about it? M-rated football game. How do you make an M-rated football game? Alex's channel says Kiwi Farms is suing a domain registrar uh, registrar for dead... Uh, fuck me. Defamation. Will it work? I don't know. I'm certainly not a law guy myself. I saw that they raised a whole shitload of money, so they might have that going for them. I just... I don't know. I'd be worried about the... Uh, whoever they're suing to try to muddy up the, the court case by bringing in, oh, well, the site's allegedly tied to these terrible things, and users of the site have done X and Y and Z, and you know what I mean. They're going to try to say that the site is specifically for doxing and harassment and all that shit. But if the case is handled by a judge who's not a complete fuckwit, I, I think they'll be fine, and they'll probably get what they want. Stop shooting at me, guy. Oh, wrong way. Just need to use your bathroom. Give me... It's mine. Bye. There we go. We got the purple phallic object. That's all that matters now. Let's get back to Grove Street so we can safely save our game. Special Ops Kiwi says, have you been keeping up with the Voss shit? Um, I have seen where, like, Ethan Klein was kind of shit-talking him after the whole horse porn lollycon shit, but I haven't been keeping up with anything that's happened after that. Is Voss doubling down on his defense that, like, he didn't mean to? Like, I saw his argument about, like, elf girl goblin porn or something for the lollycon, but how is he justifying the horse cocks? I just thought they were big dicks. Hell yeah! See now, now we th this run will be safe. Now we've got a we've got a double ender, and that's kind of all we need to survive. We're gonna do a dildo percent run now. There we go. So we have completed how many missions? Oh, Twenty miscellaneous progress made. Fine with that. Hour and a half. Days passed in game. Safe house visits. Fourteen. Missions. Mission attempts. Missions path. We have done 10 missions out of the 92, I believe there are. So we're doing pretty good. And we got two more dollars coming in from Bogrito Enthusiast. That is most definitely what the fuck is up, Tubes. Let me check and see if I missed any supers. Uh, where are we? Fan funding. The YouTube streaming page is so ass, it lags. Okay. Uh, Liquid Snappy sent in $5. Listening. I think you may have missed my previous super chat. Also, Poot. Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me check. I am looking right now. Oh, there, that one. Uh, Mr. Waifu Taker sent in $5 Canadian saying, I would play more horror games if they were slasher-esque like Manhunt. I do enjoy Manhunt. That would be a great game to stream, actually. I love that game. Uh, that one. Venus, he's a buster. Stranger Bob sent in 99 cents with no message. Awesome. That's fucking awesome. The worst. I love the gun sounds of this game. Jeffrey got the pokey while in jail. Love your Ace of Thorns streams. Did I miss it, bud? Hey, Snappy, I'm not seeing any other messages from you. I just see the uh, the membership you sent earlier, so it might not have gone through. I'm just, I'm not seeing here, buddy. I'm sorry. Dumb bitch. But I don't know. Guys, 
it is about that time and I need to actually get back to doing real work. Well, real work in quotations and I got to start researching Cobra so that way you guys have something to laugh at. Uh, like I said, in about four hours, less than four hours, a new video will be up for uh, Daniel Larson's uh, health and hygiene or rather his lack thereof. Tell you what, I don't know if I'm going to do a premiere or not. Let me do a little poll. Premiere tonight. Oh, why is caps lock on? Premiere tonight. Ye? Nah. You guys can vote on that. I'll give you a minute here to vote while I get the music ready for the outro. And AJ Nelson sent in $2 saying, better not end the stream. Boy, well, I'm not ending it just yet, but I will be here in just a short moment. So you kind of get a little extra time with me. I'm seeing a lot of yees. Quite a sizable amount of nos. I will end it here in 10 seconds. I just need a quick little, little, uh, vote here. And Pingus can, the <laughs> Beauty Nurgle hybrid black Pingus. Yeah, I read Pingus again, damn it. The black Pingus. That, uh, real work equals harassing the goat to draw fast. She draws fast on her own. I don't got to bully her for it anymore. And Boglum Chronicles said, I sent you some good info. Now definitely left on bad terms. Awesome. Thank you, bud. I'll be checking that after this. I, I appreciate your help, man. Really. It is awesome. Easy EKM sent in 9 to the 9 saying, damn, can't be rude to the goat live. Rogue, tell her she's smelly, and you have a good day, internet man. Well, I will do my best to have a good day, and I hope you do the same, and I will be sure to pass along the harassing messages. Awesome. I'm going to end the poll. Looks like ye won with 79%, so it looks like we're going to be doing a premiere, so I'll, I'll change it from a scheduled release to a premiere shortly. But shit, guys, I've got to get out of here. i got to take a big old dump and get back to work. So, again, guys, thank you to everybody who stopped by and endured whatever the hell this stream was. I hope you guys had a good time. And thank you to everybody who sent in super chats. They're always very much appreciated. Uh, everything I can think of. A new Green Text Gallery video will be coming out in a few weeks covering the story of 8 Beers McGee. It's a little funny, a little sad, but I think it's a good one. It was recommended, and I found it really enjoyable. Sad, but a, like a good bittersweet ending. Something a little different than what we usually do. But I digress. As always, guys, I've got more content coming down the pipeline. But until then, I'll see you degenerates next time. Shop, shop. Shit.